I would take you along with me to an Irish wedding. Welcome to cocktails in the year out. I'm the Irish in the Definitely a wee bit tipsy. Well, hello and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all keeping well. I am once again coming to you in the car. What is new? This afternoon, I'm going to Dundrum Shopping Centre. I have a few things that I need to pick up. And I thought that for this week's vlog, I would take you along with me to an Irish wedding. I just love a good wedding. It is like, they're just the best fun ever. They're so full of love. They're such crack. So tomorrow's wedding is a good friend of mine, Lauren. So Lauren is also a content creator and she is such a dote. If you don't follow her already, I will link her in the description below. She's fabulous. And her wedding is tomorrow and it's so exciting. I feel like winter weddings and winter black tie weddings, everything is like up another level of glad. I'm just going to pop out to Dundrum. There's a few last minute things that I just want to pick up. And I figure that I will show you the getting ready process from tomorrow morning. I'm obviously going to marinate in tan tonight. It's why I'm actually so pale and ghostly right now. I'm like blending in with the color of my jumper. Uh, but I'm going to do all that this evening. And then I thought it'd be really, really fun to just take you along with me, show you what an Irish wedding is like. What I also wanted to do while I'm sitting here in my car is give you a little bit of an update as to how I've been getting on in my hybrid Toyota Yaris. And I know I have a dedicated video on uh, this car and all of its features so I will link that in the description below which has even more information but given that I've been driving this car since April I feel like I've really really gotten to grips with it so I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview if you've any additional questions please let me know in the comments but I'm going to touch on a few things this is a very big truck I thought I would just do kind of a snappy summary of like the key features for me that I have really been loving about this car. The number one thing about my hybrid Toyota Yaris that I'm just obsessed with is of course the hybrid system. It's incredible. Before this, I was driving my beloved Toyota Yaris, which was a non-hybrid version. So I went from non-hybrid Yaris to a hybrid Yaris. But I was getting this really like updated new hybrid engine system. And let me tell you, it is so handy. Knowing how to drive gears is great. I think it's, you know, really, really handy skill to have. However, I really, really think that the tide is turning and hybrid engines and hybrid cars in general, whether they're self-charging or completely electric, um, are just the way of the future. Although Although I'm fine with gears, I don't think that I would go back to a non-hybrid car because it's just so much easier. You still have the same amount of power and control in the car, but it's just this ease of use. And especially if you're someone who is in a lot of traffic or you're driving in, in like urban built up areas. I also do utilize the car's drive mode as well. So let's say if I'm on a particular type of road or somewhere where I feel like I want that little bit more power in the car, you can easily enable drive mode. It literally is the touch of a button, but it essentially uses that little bit more fuel to get more power. And then on the opposite side of that, if you're in a situation where you're just kind of cruising along, you're not needing that much power from the car, eco mode can be enabled. And that is like the most fuel efficient way to drive. The second thing that I would say is of course the fuel efficiency. So given that this is a self-charging hybrid, it also takes petrol. And some people forget about this, but that means that when your car has petrol as well as a hybrid engine, you kind of have the best of both worlds. So I never have to charge this car. I will never run out of battery, so to speak, because when I have a full tank of fuel, if my car's battery is running lower, which can happen, it just kicks into the fuel. So, so yeah, the fuel efficiency is a big thing. I've really noticed that like when I drive home to Galway, it's about two and a half hours and I really notice how little fuel this car takes which again is going to save me money over time so the hybrid engine the fuel efficiency they're the top things for me but there is another thing and this is not just with hybrid cars but it's with Toyota in general and it's all of their safety features it has safety features for braking automatically it has ones for ensuring that you're not drifting into lanes um, and just like really other handy practical things that I've noticed kick in and it just reminds you and is obviously there to keep you as safe as possible. Safety is so important, whether you're a single person or a family, like it's just always something that you should take into account. So those are like my main three takeaways from having this car since April that just really, really stand out to me. In terms of car essentials, because I remember I did like a little mini car haul when I first got the car, in terms of the Amazon car essentials, I will admit not all of them have continued to be essential. But one thing that I certainly have been using constantly is the car bin. 
she needs to be refilled now. I need to put a new bin bag in her. But I keep a roll of bin bags in my glove compartment, like smaller ones. Key in keeping my car clean. Like it's actually incredible. So I'm telling you now, if you don't have a car bin, get one. I'll link it below. They're so good. Okay, so I need to hit the road because I need to head out to Dundrum. There's a few bits that I want to pick up. We need to have a chill, cozy early night so that the glam can start first thing in the morning. So. <laughs> Oh my God. Good morning. I slept in my tan last night. Obviously my hair needs a wash. Um, so I'm gonna wash my face. I have facial tan on as well. Slept really well. And then I'm gonna have coffee after the shower as well. And then I have like one errand to run today. Okay, so let's get started. Start off by popping on one of these Spotlight teeth whitening strips. Um, they're actually an unreal Irish brand. I use their toothbrush and their toothpaste and everything and they're just great and they work. So I'm gonna grab one. Maybe these stay on for like an hour. This is a really stunning, stunning angle. Uh, uh, uh. Beautiful. So I'm gonna leave this on while I do my makeup. I'm just gonna show you one thing this by Bobbi Brown. It's the Vitamin Enriched Face Base and it also comes in an eye version. When you've got like a big day, a wedding, or you just want your makeup to like really go on and stay like a dream, this is amazing. The consistency is fab. It's like quite a thick cream, but it is such a good primer. It smells and feels amazing. And when I tell you, like your makeup glides. It really helps it last and like, it's just really, really hydrating. A little bit on the pricier side, but to be fair, it lasts a really, really long time. I've gone through maybe one of these so far and I highly, highly rate it. I'm gonna fly through the makeup because if I talk, I'll be here forever, but I'll link everything in the description. And if you want me to talk through anything in more detail, just ask me in the comments and we can do that in another video. My makeup is basically done. I'm just gonna finish off with setting powder. This Charlotte Tilbury is so good. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I don't have anything higher to put the camera on, so I'm kind of far away. But this is my Guna. It is a bit of a bargain. It's from Nasty Gal. I'm pretty sure it's still available, so I will link it. It's so comfortable. This is what I'm gonna wear, but I'm gonna wear it really low, kind of like this, like a wrap. I love it so much uh, because it is probably gonna be a bit chilly. And then these are my heels. Oh my God, how do people do this? There. My hair and makeup. So like pretty much what I always do, I just feel like I have so much on with like the jewelry and everything that I didn't wanna do anything wild. I could probably do maybe a bit more of a shimmer on the eyes. I'm not sure. The worry is that if I add it, I'll hate it. You know, it feels very glam, but hey, it's a winter wedding. So I'm very excited to dance on this. It's so comfortable. Like I have to say, very, very comfortable. I better get my last few bits ready to head out the door. I really hope I haven't forgotten anything. I have my emergency clip in and we are good to go. Joey's literally picking me up downstairs. Woo! Wait, it looks like you're outside your manor estate. Get in, losers! We're going to a wedding!
just home. Oh my God, is that for me? No. <laughs> okay. Definitely a wee bit tipsy. How are you, Rip? Hi, Mimi. Hi, bestie. from the coziest robe in the world. Oh my gosh, the wedding was spectacular and I had no doubt that it would be. Um, oh, it was so beautiful. Like the venue, Luttrell's Town is just incredible. Like absolutely gorgeous. And the staff were amazing. And yeah, it was just such a special evening. Um, there were so many like little surprises and things that, um, you know, they had planned and just like really fun stuff. And it was just lovely. It was so much fun. And Riff Shop were um, the band. So like everybody was up dancing and it was just so much fun. I just love, love, love weddings. They're just such a good time. It's so great to catch up with people. And but yeah, so today is a very chill one. We've had a busy weekend. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of socializing. So the plan today is we are going to put up the Christmas tree and I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. I've dug out everything. I'm just doing a bit of like washing and like just housework today that I haven't been doing the past few days. Um, and then we're going to pop into Dunleary and we're gonna have a little potter. Joseph wants to pick up one or two things, but I actually wanna have a look at some more Christmas decorations, even though he kind of thinks we don't need any more. But what does he know? I think we could use a few more. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna put the tree up. So I'm gonna show you everything, show you the tree. It's so nice. We got it last year and I just, I'm ready for the Christmas vibes. Yeah, they're different, aren't they? Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. a serious uh, business. Yeah. It's yeah, it is, isn't it? Weird. We're thinking of adding a bit of red to the tree this year. Wait, why not? We'll get, no, he doesn't have a crown. We're getting one Christmas frog. We've already got one. <laughs> opening up the decorations and all the bits that I packed away from last year. I have done the lights on the tree. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of fixing and like sprucing or whatever, but like they're pretty much done. That's your toy there. And this guy is not your toy. He's gonna sit here. and secure now do a little twisty a real mix there's some of the orchard in Selbridge which do really nice like really textured baubles like they do this one too with, like amazing detail and then these this one here and like this one here which also to be fair have a lot of detail these are from Sostrin Green and then these flowers which I really like I feel like they add a really nice bit of texture um, like they're a nice kind of finishing touch to the tree. They were from Amazon and they were very affordable. I got a big pack of them. And then I just threw in some beading and then we have 750 warm white lights, not like the bright ones. I don't want it to be super bright. And we've included some red color this year, whereas last year it was just gold. So yeah, like I'm sure there's some things that I could change. I would love a little bit more lights and there's like some areas here that I actually might go and tweak but I'm not gonna fuss too much over it. Oh, look, there's my hand. <laughs> Sorry. 